In this video, we're going to use area to show how brackets get expanded. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand how we can use the area of a rectangle to show expanding brackets. Let's take a little trip down memory lane and take a look at area now. To find the area of a rectangle, we need to multiply the length by the width. In this example, the length is 5 and the width is 3. So finding the area is as simple as doing 5 times 3, which gives us 15, area of a rectangle. Now if I added another piece of area to it, like that green area, it would still give me the area is going to be the length times the width. I just want to find the area of that green rectangle. So the area will be two lots of three, because it's three on that right hand side, giving me the width, which gives me an area of six. If I wanted to know the total area of both the blue and the green rectangle, I would now just add my two answers together. I'd add 15 and six together, and I'd get a total area of 21. Now, that's all fine and well when we have numbers, but what happens when we put those two numbers together and we find the total as well? Well, it's still going to be an area of length times width. This is still going to be 7 lots of 3, which still gives us 21. We could have done it in one go just by adding those two numbers for the length together. And we're going to use that idea now with a little bit of algebra. So let's look at, take a look at another blue rectangle, but this time we're going to make the length P. That means it can be any number whatsoever, it doesn't matter, we're going to call it P. We're going to give the width a fixed length, we're going to call it 3, and we're going to find the area. So the area is going to be the length times the width, which is P times 3. So the area is going to be written as 3P. Now I'm going to add some green rectangle onto it, and I'm going to find the area of, of that rectangle. Again, it's just 2 lots of 3, and that's going to give me 6. My total area now is the addition of 3P, and 6. So I found two separate areas and then I added them together. What happens now if I change those two separate areas, length, sorry, of P and 2 into just P plus 2? I've just added them together. This is where the brackets are going to come in. See, the area of that rectangle is still the length times the width. It's still P plus 2 multiplied by 3. Now the way we write that is without a multiplication symbol, which is just 3 outside of P plus 2. When I expand brackets, I do 3 lots of P, which is 3P, and 3 lots of 2, which is 6. I still get the same answer, but in this way I've expanded brackets to find the area. Let's take a look at an example that has 4 rectangles now, and how that helps us find area in an easier way. So we're going to find the area in, write, write it, sorry, in two different ways. This one is going to be without brackets. And this way I'm going to find four different areas, the orange, the red, the green, and the blue, and then I'm going to add them all together. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So for the area of the orange, I've got a length and a width of A times B, which is just AB. For the red, I have a length and a width of A times 7, which is 7A. For the green, I have a length and a width of 2 times B, which is 2B. And for the blue, I have an area of 2 times 7, which is 14. When I add them all together, I get a total of AB plus 7A plus 2B plus 14. None of them are like terms, so I can't add them together. That is the expression for the area of that big rectangle without any brackets. Now let's take a look at what happens when we put brackets in. You see, I've got the same lengths, but instead of doing B and 7 separately, I'm going to add them together, B plus 7. And instead of having A and 2 separately, I'm going to add those together to get A plus 2. Now I can find the area by doing the length times the width. And this is going to give me an expression, but it's going to give it to me with brackets. So my length is b plus 7, and I multiply it by my width, which is a plus 2. Altogether, I just get rid of the multiplication symbol, and I write those two brackets next to each other. So the two ways to write the area are with brackets, which is b plus 7 times a plus 2, or without brackets, which is ab plus 7a plus 2b plus 14. So what do you need to write to get the idea behind this video? Well, the whole idea of this video is to try and show you the area of a rectangle using some brackets and using some combination of algebra and some numerals. And then showing how the expanding of those brackets helps us to find that total area. So just pause the video and get this screen down and that'll be it. Now I hope that you can use this idea that area can show the expanding of brackets and you'll be able to use it in your lesson tomorrow. Good luck.